The Federal Road Safety Corps FRSC operatives will begin to bear firearms to curtail the excesses of road users in Nigeria. The House of Representatives Committee made the announcement during the Corps 2020 budget performance and 2021 budget defense. The chairman, Akifolari Mayowa, explained that the 1992 Act of FRSC allowed the Corps to carry guns. Mayowa said the implementation had become necessary to ensure laws were obeyed and to allow the FRSC function effectively. Joining us now from Lagos is Bisi Kazim, Corps Public Education Officer, FRSC. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank, thank you for having me. All right, straight up, how is this news coming to um, the FRSC? What are you expecting going forward with officers bearing arms? Well, let me first of all, uh, lay clear. let me tell you that it was not correct. That news was not correct. Okay. The chairman, while receiving us yesterday during the budget defense, has sympathized with us on our loss as per NSA's uh, protest through this vandalization and burning of some of our equipment and uh, resources. So in, in saying that, he now said he was going to appeal to the federal government, which has the final authority to ask us to, be, uh, to consider us bearing arms, in, uh, bearing in mind the fact that we are frequently attacked and so on. So it is not as if he has the powers to say we should uh, bear arms. But he was just thinking of uh, uh, imploring government. So the, I want to say that the news was Tuesday to mean that uh, he has asked us to bear arms. Though, consider the fact that the law actually asked us to bear arms, but the federal government is the final arbiter when it comes to, I mean, final authority when well, it comes that, to is that something... any organization. Yeah. Uh, finish your thoughts, sir. I can't hear you. I said, go ahead and finish your thought. I was going to yes, ask... I said, it's the federal government that can ask any organization or establishment to, to bear arms, considering the fact that it's, uh, the security effect, considering the fact that uh, it entails a lot of things, uh, procuring the arms, which has to be... Uh, uh, provided for in the budget, uh, considering the fact that uh, a lot of trainees must uh, go on pari pasu. Uh, and it, it, there are a lot of things. So is, is yeah. it something the core is actually considering? Is that something you are malleable to? Or you would rather officers do not um, uh, carry arms at all? You see, what I am trying to tell you is that as an agent of government, even if you have interest in a particular thing, you cannot uh, uh, you cannot make make it happen. You still have to rely on the government. In as much as we want to to bear arms, we want to carry arms. Yes, but so far, federal government has not said go ahead. We cannot say. We are carrying out. So uh, aren't government. you worried about the security of officers on the highway, especially with some, I mean, you, you might, I'm sure you've had experience where officers uh, encounter uh, unscrupulous people with very unscrupulous behavior, with them even bearing arms. Aren't you worried that, you know, something mm. might happen to the officers if they do not have a way to protect themselves? Extremely worried. Remember that uh, some of us started this job as far back as 89 and uh, at 89, 88, 88, 89 rather. And some of us have equally been threatened. I, I, myself talking to you, 1st October 1990, I was uh, attacked by armed robbers on uh, Ibadanyo Expressway, I mean, highway. I miraculously escaped. So, and uh, we've lost a lot of people, uh, personnel during this uh, I mean, with uh, all this kind of things. But what I'm saying is that, look, we must wait on government to say, go ahead. Okay, but in the, in the interim, while we wait for government to make a decision, how uh, is the core um, trying to protect officers while they discharge their duties? What security mechanism is in place? 
Thank you so much. As we are talking to you now, we have uh, serious synergy with the uh, DSS, serious synergy with the uh, Army, with Navy, with Air Force, with uh, even uh, uh, NSDC, that's civil defense. So we are using them wherever we find ourselves threatened. As uh, we just left the Jodi office now, you see a detachment of uh, civil defense of about six or seven armed men there. So we, we protect ourselves through synergy with other sister agencies. Okay, how optimistic are you that the provisions of this budget this time will be of more benefit to the core? Very, very optimistic. Because uh, it is, uh, we have been allowed to look at area of our priorities, uh, vehicles, uh, equipment for patrols, and so on and so forth, uh, tow trucks, ambulances, those relevant areas that are needed to be built up, this budget will definitely take care of them. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Bisi Kazim, for talking to us on the situation and correcting that impression about the firearms bearing. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.